Hey, this is Joe Gilder from HomestudioCorner.com. Today, let's talk about the uh, user data or data setting uh, under Studio One preferences. Uh, under locations, user data, uh, and there's a couple of cool things here. First off, you can choose where on your computer to save user information. So where do your songs default to being saved, projects, and also your presets. If you save presets, which I do occasionally, where are those actually saved? Uh, now, you can choose wherever you want. You may think to put this on your recording hard drive. If you have an external or dedicated hard drive for recording, that's fine. For me, I'm constantly filling up my drives and swapping them out for new ones, so that doesn't work as well for me. So I, I have it default to just my system hard drive on my recording computer, and that's where it all resides. Okay, uh, so it's all right there. Now, the one downside of that is every time I create a new song, I have to go choose the hard drive I want to save it to, but it's not a big deal. If I forget to do that, then I'm recording to my internal drive, and that's just not obviously not ideal. You want to be recording to your dedicated drive. So that's the only thing. It defaults to this location for your songs, uh, but you can quickly change that when you're setting that up. Uh, auto save documents. It's a great idea to have it automatically save things for you. Why this isn't on, I don't know. Uh, and now it is. So every five minutes is great. That way, at worst case scenario, your system crashes, you only lose the last five minutes of work, which is better than losing everything. So that's a great option. Those will be saved as automatic saves that you can recover later. And then finally, ask to copy external files when saving a song. This is really cool. Let's say you're importing multi-tracks uh, from your desktop into the song, and the song is saved to your external hard drive. With this option engaged, uh, as soon as you hit save for the first time, it'll ask you, do I copy these files to the audio files folder for this project, or do I leave them where they are? And in some instances, you might want to leave them there. Most of the time, I recommend copying them over, uh, because you want that kind of your Studio One folder that's created when you create a new song that has the the song file and all the audio files and everything else associated with that song. It's nice to have all that in one place. So when you back it up to another hard drive, it's all there. If you start pulling things in from different locations, it can get a little squirrely. So for, you know, this may cause you to, to lose a little bit of hard drive space because you'll have different copies of things in different places sometimes. I'm okay with that because it means all my songs have everything in one folder together. So I would engage this and uh, if you don't, it actually won't copy them over unless you specifically go to that setting uh, under the file menu that, that allows you to do that. So instead, have it ask you. So a pop-up window will come up every time you hit save the first time you save a song after importing some audio. Uh, and then you'll know exactly where all your audio files are. There's nothing more frustrating than losing a file and not being able to find it. So this way, they're all in the same place and you're a happy camper. Okay, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.